Hi! Welcome to Inference. This is the place where you learn and improve. In this video, I will be talking about iatrogenesis. The information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical advice. Iatrogenesis and patient safety are complex topics that require individualized attention and guidance from healthcare professionals. If you have concerns about your medical care or the potential risks associated with medical interventions, please consult with a qualified healthcare provider. The content presented in this video is based on general knowledge and understanding at the time of its creation. Medical practices and guidelines may vary, and new developments may have occurred since the video's publication. The creator of this video is not liable for any actions taken based on the information provided herein. In the pursuit of healing and better health, we place an immense amount of trust in the hands of medical professionals. They dedicate their lives to improving our well-being and alleviating suffering. Each day, they confront the challenges of diagnosing illnesses, treating complex conditions, and performing life-saving procedures. We rely on their expertise and their commitment to our health. But what happens when the very treatments intended to help us inadvertently cause harm? Welcome to the world of iatrogenesis. Iatrogenesis, derived from the Greek words iatros, meaning physician, and genesis, meaning origin, is a term that sheds light on a sobering reality within the realm of medicine. It refers to the unintended consequences or harm caused by medical interventions. As patients, we place our trust, trust in the hands of skilled healthcare professionals, believing that their actions will lead us towards healing. However, despite their best intentions, errors and adverse events can occur, resulting in iatrogenic harm. In the complex landscape of modern healthcare, iatrogenesis can take various forms. It can manifest as medication errors, where a prescription may be incorrectly filled or administered, leading to adverse drug reactions or complications. Surgical procedures, while often successful, can also carry the risk of complications, infections, or even surgical errors. Misdiagnosis or delayed diagnoses can result in significant harm, as they may lead to inappropriate treatments or missed opportunities for early intervention. Hospital-acquired infections, despite the strictest infection control protocols, can still occur, posing additional risks to patients' well-being. These are just a few examples of the intricate web of iatrogenesis. The line between benefit and harm in medicine can be incredibly thin. Decisions made by healthcare professionals are based on the best available evidence, tailored to individual patients. Yet, due to the complexity of human biology, the uniqueness of each patient, and the unpredictability of certain conditions, unintended outcomes can arise. Even the most skilled and dedicated professionals may find themselves facing unexpected challenges, as the human body and its responses to treatment are often intricate and nuanced. It's important to recognize that iatrogenesis is not a reflection of negligence or incompetence. Rather, it is a recognition of the inherent risks and uncertainties that exist in the practice of medicine. Healthcare professionals undertake immense responsibility, constantly striving to balance the potential benefits of treatments with the potential risks. However, the realization that harm can occur, despite their best efforts, underscores the need for ongoing vigilance, learning, and improvement. Statistics tell us that iatrogenic harm is more prevalent than we might imagine. According to recent studies, medical errors are estimated to be one of the leading causes of death worldwide, with staggering numbers reaching the hundreds of thousands each year. These numbers are not just mere statistics, they represent real lives impacted by iatrogenesis. Behind these numbers are real people whose lives have been forever changed. Patients and their families who have experienced the devastating consequences of iatrogenesis firsthand. What was once a hopeful journey towards recovery can turn into a nightmare of complications, prolonged suffering, and even loss. Iatrogenic harm can have far-reaching effects on physical, emotional, and psychological well-being, not just for the patients themselves, but also for their loved ones. The impact of iatrogenesis extends beyond individual cases. It can have profound implications on trust and confidence in the healthcare system. When patients experience harm as a result of medical interventions, it can erode the trust they had placed in their healthcare providers. Such experiences can leave lasting scars, leading to skepticism, fear, and reluctance to seek necessary medical care in the future. Moreover, iatrogenic harm places a significant burden on healthcare systems and societies as a whole. The economic costs associated with medical errors and adverse events are substantial. Substantial. They include the expenses of additional medical treatments, hospital readmissions, rehabilitation, and legal proceedings. These costs not only affect the healthcare industry but also have broader implications for public health funding, insurance premiums, and overall healthcare accessibility. The impact of iatrogenesis is undeniable, reminding us of the importance of acknowledging and addressing this issue within the healthcare landscape. It calls for a collective effort from healthcare professionals, policymakers, researchers, and patients themselves to work towards minimizing iatrogenic harm and striving for a healthcare system that prioritizes patient safety and well-being. Understanding the various forms of iatrogenesis is crucial. It encompasses not only the immediate harm caused by medical interventions but also the long-term consequences that may emerge years later. Let's explore some of the forms and complexities of iatrogenesis. One form of iatrogenesis is medication errors. These can occur at various stages, from prescribing to dispensing and administering medications. Mistakes in dosage, incorrect medication selection, or drug interactions can lead to adverse reactions, organ damage, or even life-threatening situations. The complexity of medication regimens, especially for patients with multiple conditions and medications, increases the risk of errors. Surgical interventions, while often successful, are not without risks. Surgical iatrogenesis can occur due to various factors, including surgical errors, post-operative infections, or complications related to anesthesia. 
Despite stringent safety protocols and skilled surgical teams, unforeseen circumstances can arise, leading to unintended harm. Misdiagnosis or delayed diagnoses are other forms of iatrogenesis. The complexity of certain medical conditions, overlapping symptoms, and reliance on subjective judgment can contribute to diagnostic errors. Patients may receive inappropriate treatments or experience delays in receiving the appropriate care, resulting in worsened outcomes or unnecessary harm. Hospital-acquired infections, despite rigorous infection control measures, remain a persistent concern. Patients admitted to healthcare facilities may become susceptible to infections due to invasive procedures, weakened immune systems, or exposure to drug-resistant pathogens. These infections can prolong hospital stays, compromise recovery, and pose serious risks to patient well-being. The complexities of iatrogenesis lie in the blurred line between benefit and harm. Medical interventions are often based on weighing the potential benefits against the potential risks. However, the unique characteristics and responses of individual patients, the intricacies of their conditions, and the variability of treatment outcomes make it challenging to predict and prevent all adverse events. Furthermore, iatrogenic harm may not always be immediately apparent. Some consequences may emerge years after the initial intervention, such as long-term medication side effects, complications from surgical procedures, or the development of secondary conditions. The long-term impact of iatrogenesis highlights the importance of monitoring and follow-up care to detect and address any potential harm that may arise over time. Navigating the complexities of iatrogenesis requires a comprehensive understanding of the interconnected factors that contribute to patient safety and well-being. It necessitates ongoing education, research, and collaboration among healthcare professionals to continually refine practices and minimize the risks associated with medical interventions. However, the medical community is not complacent in the face of iatrogenic harm. Across the globe, dedicated professionals are working tirelessly to reduce its occurrence and improve patient safety. Let's explore some of the efforts being undertaken to mitigate iatrogenic harm. One key strategy is the implementation of stringent safety protocols and guidelines. Healthcare institutions are adopting standardized protocols for medication administration, surgical procedures, and infection control. These protocols help minimize errors, improve communication among healthcare teams, and enhance overall patient safety. Improving communication and teamwork among healthcare professionals is crucial in reducing iatrogenic harm. Collaborative approaches such as interprofessional team-based care and structured communication tools help ensure that critical information is effectively shared, leading to more informed decision-making and improved patient outcomes. Advancements in technology play a significant role in reducing iatrogenesis. Electronic health records, EHRs, enable comprehensive and accurate documentation, facilitating better coordination and continuity of care. Automated medication management systems help reduce medication errors by minimizing manual processes and providing safeguards for appropriate prescribing, dispensing, and administration. Embracing evidence-based practices is another key approach. Healthcare professionals are encouraged to stay updated with the latest research and guidelines, incorporating evidence-based interventions into their decision-making processes. Evidence-based medicine helps ensure that interventions are based on the best available evidence, optimizing patient care while minimizing the risks of iatrogenic harm. Continuous learning and professional development are vital in addressing iatrogenesis. Healthcare professionals engage in ongoing edu education and training programs to enhance their knowledge and skills. They participate in quality improvement initiatives, root cause analyses, and morbidity and mortality conferences to identify areas for improvement and implement changes to reduce iatrogenic harm. Research plays a pivotal role in unraveling the complexities of iatrogenesis and finding innovative solutions. By analyzing data, identifying patterns, and learning from past mistakes, medical professionals can continuously refine their practices, minimizing risks and maximizing patient safety. Research efforts focus on understanding the underlying causes of iatrogenesis, developing effective preventive strategies, and evaluating the impact of interventions aimed at reducing harm. Collectively, these efforts contribute to a culture of safety within healthcare systems. They emphasize the importance of transparency, reporting, and learning from errors, and fostering a supportive environment that encourages open communication and a commitment to continuous improvement. By striving for excellence in patient safety and embracing a multidisciplinary approach, healthcare professionals and institutions are working together to minimize iatrogenic harm and create a safer healthcare environment for all. Research plays a pivotal role in unraveling the complexities of iatrogenesis and finding innovative solutions to reduce harm. Let's explore the important role that research plays in addressing iatrogenic harm. Firstly, research helps to deepen our understanding of the causes and mechanisms of iatrogenesis. By analyzing large data sets, conducting ob observational studies, and clinical trials, researchers can identify patterns, risk factors, and underlying factors contributing to iatrogenic harm. This knowledge provides valuable insights into how interventions can be improved to minimize the occurrence of unintended harm. Research also plays a crucial role in developing and evaluating preventive strategies. By studying the effectiveness of interventions and interventions, researchers can identify best practices and evidence-based guidelines to enhance patient safety. These findings can inform policy decisions, clinical guidelines, and quality improvement initiatives aimed at reducing iatrogenic harm. Furthermore, research helps to identify and assess the impact of new technologies and innovations on patient safety. As medical technology continues to advance, researchers evaluate the benefits, risks, and potential unintended consequences of these innovations. This enables healthcare professionals to make informed decisions about the adoption and implementation of new technologies, ensuring they are safe and effective in reducing iatrogenic harm. In addition, the research contributes to the development and refinement of patient safety measures and tools. By studying the effectiveness of safety protocols, communication systems, and error reporting mechanisms, researchers can identify areas for improvement and design interventions to enhance patient safety. This includes the development of standardized protocols, checklists, and decision support systems that can help healthcare professionals make informed decisions and minimize the risks of iatrogenesis. 
Importantly, research fosters a culture of continuous learning and improvement within the healthcare community. Through research, healthcare prof professionals gain access to the latest evidence, best practices, and emerging knowledge in the field of patient safety. This ongoing education and awareness ensure that healthcare providers are equipped with the necessary tools and information to identify and mitigate potential risks of iatrogenic harm. Collaboration between researchers, healthcare professionals, and policymakers is essential in driving research efforts and translating findings into practice. By working together, they can identify research priorities, facilitate data sharing, and promote the implementation of evidence-based interventions to reduce iatrogenic harm. Ultimately, research is a powerful tool in the fight against iatrogenic harm. It provides the knowledge, evidence, and insights needed to continually improve the quality and safety of healthcare practices. Through ongoing research efforts, we can strive towards a healthcare system that minimizes the risks of unintended harm and prioritizes patient safety and well-being. Patient involvement is a crucial component in addressing iatrogenic harm and improving patient safety. By actively engaging patients in their healthcare journey, we can create a collaborative and patient-centered approach to reducing harm. Let's explore the importance of patient involvement in mitigating iatrogenic harm. First and foremost, patients are experts in their own experiences and can provide valuable insights and perspectives. They have a unique understanding of their medical history, symptoms, and the effects of treatments. By actively involving patients in discussions about their care, healthcare professionals can gain a more comprehensive understanding of their individual needs and preferences, helping to tailor treatments and interventions accordingly. Patient involvement also empowers individuals to be active participants in their healthcare decisions. When patients are informed about their conditions, treatment options, and potential ri risks, they can make more informed choices. This shared decision-making process helps ensure that treatments align with patients' values, goals, and preferences, ultimately reducing the likelihood of iatrogenic harm resulting from inappropriate or unnecessary interventions. Furthermore, patients can play an active role in medication safety. By providing accurate and complete information about their medications, including over-the-counter drugs, supplements, and allergies, patients contribute to reducing medication errors and adverse reactions. Patients can also actively participate in medication reconciliation processes, ensuring that the medications they receive are accurate and appropriate for their specific needs. Patient engagement in the reporting and identification of errors is another important aspect of reducing iatrogenic harm. Encouraging patients to speak up and report any concerns, near misses, or adverse events can help identify system weaknesses and potential sources of harm. Patients' perspectives and experiences can shed light on areas for improvement, leading to changes that enhance patient safety. Additionally, patient advocacy groups and organizations play a significant role in raising awareness about iatrogenesis and promoting patient safety. These groups advocate for transparent communication, patient rights, and accountability within healthcare systems. By sharing their experiences and advocating for safer practices, they contribute to shaping policies, guidelines, and initiatives aimed at reducing iatrogenic harm. It is important to create a culture that encourages and values patient involvement in their healthcare. This involves fostering effective communication, respecting patients' autonomy, autonomy, and providing accessible health information. Healthcare professionals can facilitate patient involvement by actively listening, providing clear explanations, and creating an open and supportive environment that encourages patients to ask questions and voice their concerns. By embracing patient involvement, we can harness the power of collective knowledge, experience, and perspective to reduce iatrogenic harm. Patients become partners in their care, working together with healthcare professionals to improve safety, enhance decision-making, and ultimately strive for the best possible outcomes. In conclusion, iatrogenesis serves as a sobering reminder of the complexities and inherent risks involved in medical interventions. Despite the best intentions of healthcare professionals, unintended harm can occur, impacting the lives of patients and their families. However, efforts are being made to address iatrogenic harm and improve patient safety. Stringent safety protocols, improved communication, and technological advancements contribute to minimizing errors and reducing risks. Research plays a pivotal role in deepening our understanding, developing preventive strategies, and continuously improving healthcare practices. Patient involvement is crucial in this endeavor. By actively engaging patients in their healthcare, we foster collaboration, shared decision-making, and patient-centered care. Patients bring valuable insights and perspectives, contributing to safer practices and improved outcomes. As we move forward, it is essential to maintain a culture of learning, transparency, and accountability within the healthcare community. By embracing research, patient involvement, and a commitment to continuous improvement, we can strive towards a healthcare system that prioritizes patient safety, minimizes iatrogenic harm, and delivers the best possible care to all. Together, healthcare professionals, researchers, policymakers, and patients themselves can make significant strides in reducing iatrogenic harm and creating a safer healthcare environment for everyone. Let us remain vigilant, collaborative, and committed to the well-being of those we serve. All right, folks, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about iatrogenesis. If you did enjoy it, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications to make sure you do not miss out on future videos. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.